All right, before we get this story time started, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell too. Okay, this is about the first time that an entire class got caught cheating when I was in high school. It was junior year of high school, and I was taking AP US history. It was this teacher named Miss Rushworth. And she had been notorious for giving 200 question tests. I'm gonna say that again 200 question tests. Have you ever had a 200 question test? Because I've never had one in college, never had one in elementary, middle school, high school, until fucking now. Anyway, during our day, all we would do was read a newspaper article and write five facts about it. That was it. And then we just bullshit the rest of the time. She really didn't teach nothing. And if she did, we'd skim here and there, like one chapter, if even that. And she'd give us like a worksheet. So, the first test came around. We didn't really take it too serious. We didn't really understand how serious it was gonna be. Nigga, I got a 47 on that bitch. The average test grade in there was like 50. And I'm thinking, I have never gotten a 47 because it showed you kind of tried, but you just did fucking terrible if you got a 47. Because if you got a zero, it's like, nigga, fuck it. But a 47, I'm like, shit, you got me fucked up. So after that, the second test come around, we study more. We study, like, we put in the time. We actually studying before school even starts. We taking this shit serious. I never had to study in high school before until now. We still did terrible. The average test grade then was like a 60. And she told me, you're doing good. You're improving all this shit. I'm thinking, bitch, I don't hear none of that shit. I'm doing terrible right now. Like, I'm doing good in all the other shit, but these tests is fucking up our grades. What the hell kind of shit is this? So after a while, we wisened up and realized that some of the students prior had been wrongfully grading their tests and giving each other higher test scores in order to pass this shit. So we decided since there was two AP classes, you know what? Let's just do it. We all know each other. We're all friends and shit. We left a couple people really, really fuck with. We left them out because, you know, fuck them. But we did this shit for a good semester and a half. And it usually go, like, if I, if I knew I'm sitting next to somebody, I would tell them, hey, I want an 85, I want a 90, whatever, what you want. And they tell me, and then we we do the math and see how, how many you got to get wrong to get that, get that test score. So this was going smooth. This was going cool. Until one motherfucking day. One motherfucking day. Some stupid ass motherfucker. Dropped the test on the motherfucking ground. And Miss Rushworth saw it, picked it up, looked at it. Asked her, why did you mark these right? They were, they were incorrect. And then she looked at the other student who was grading her test. And said, why did you mark these right? And both of them had their parents called that same day on the spot. So when word got out right before we was about to go in there, when it happened, one of my friends was like, she knows, man, my heart is sank. I was like, shit, there goes my chance of even having a B in this class right now because this test is fucking it up. So we had lunch, luckily, ahead of time. So we, we could mentally prepare and think of how we going to finesse our way out of this situation because it was parent-teacher conference later that day. She had tenure. She could have failed the entire class. It could have gotten really messy really fast. So we just nervous as hell. We bullshitting, like, taking as long as we can to get to class. And they just, fuck it. Well, we all got to go to the bathroom. We don't give a fuck. Like, you know, I think I got to take a shit, man. That lunch it was bad, man. I, I, might take, I might be late. Shit. But anyway, so we get inside the class. We sitting down and everything. And she writing on the board, integrity. Big ass letters. Can't miss it. We already know what's up. We like, oh shit, here it comes. And then she starts a long soliloquy about integrity. And in the middle of this speech, she starts crying and all this shit, like breaking down into tears. And we thinking, we don't give a fuck about your feelings. God damn it, we give a fuck about our grade. You ain't fucking that up, are you? She talks about how she could fail the entire class. We thinking, don't don't fucking do that. You don't want to do that. You don't need all that. That's not necessary. Because one of my friends already dropped that shit and went to regular U.S. history because he wasn't trying to fuck up his chance of being valedictorian of the school. The other option was she could tell all our parents 
and it was parent teacher conference day again so either you could call ahead of time and as soon as you get home deal with that bullshit or each parent get told this at the parent teacher conference and make it that much more awkward and we already discounted the fact she can't fail two entire AP US history classes because you can't explain that shit like I don't give a damn if you have tenure the fact that you got two failing classes like that you can't explain that shit like that just shows you a bad teacher and on top of that the fact that you didn't even catch this shit in years prior let alone you go a whole semester and a half and it didn't even get caught shows you didn't look at the test at all afterwards you just trusted the students 100 percent she regraded the test that we had and put the real score on there but she never told her parents about it never peeped about their parent teacher conference and i made sure that my mom went to this class last i made sure of that shit i had to get all the teachers to tell them all the good shit first like tell her Tell her all the good shit I've been doing in this class. In this class, U.S. History, I don't know how this gonna go, but, you know, fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. She ain't say nothing bad to none of the teachers, so kudos to her on that. But, damn it, that other half a semester left, fucking terrible for that shit. Fucking terrible for that shit.